we're at the uh, really the start of Kinnikinick, if you will. I think it is at least the top end. It's considered South Kinnikinick. So there's two ways to get in here, and there's uh, alternate routes for sure. So it's considered a black diamond, and uh, so we'll see what what it looks like and how it goes. We'll get to it. Looks like there's some tire tracks. So I want to go look at this real quick and just see if there's a trail there. That's right, that, that goes around, so that's like a B line. The A line is the tough line. Come back up here and roll on through. I've done this a few times, so it's not new. But here we're going, South Kinnikinick and try to run Kinnikinick all the way through. Get a little teeny drop here, and then a roll over these rocks. Loose rocks here, wow. We'll put a little jump there. This is definitely techie, so be mindful. Gotta get way back on the seat, especially a 29er. A lot of chunk in here. This is the down section of it all. I've never hit that drop before. That's awesome. This decline, so I'm usually not ready for it. It's pretty serious. There you go. All right, now here I'm probably gonna have to hike a bike. I'll show you why. So there's this big face. So you can see <laughs> how much of my bike. Bottom bracket will clear. Chain ring won't. As many people have killed theirs. So we'll hike a bike it. All right, back at it. Which I whispered the last time. Cause I did a, it's called an apex tra uh, race trail. I didn't do the race, but I ran the trail. Gotta let that bike move. Oh, that was good. Cause I let the bike just kind of slide with me. Getting, getting better at getting my heels back, weight back, picking up again, come out wide, so you see it, that way I don't have to drop in there, I can go right here, again, this has never been ridden this way for me, find your right gear in here for sure, because as I've said, oh that's cool, I won't drop that though, I'm off the cliff, is uh you never know when you're gonna have to do a little climb because the terrain in here is just so diverse and with rock features the way they are like this gotta chew the gear to get up great way to take it though techie work you out there's going to be a part where it finally gets going down mostly. It'll be in a little bit. Watch your loose rocks too, Mike. Oh, this is good. Little pedal configuration. Sorry for the heavy breathing, but this is rough. We'll watch for the loose rocks in here. Oh, it's got a nice little drop here. Drop roll, you both. Uh, be careful here, because nice little drop. Way down. But when we're done, we're going to end up being way down over there. So, let's keep going. Well, I came from up there. It's surprising. It's not that far away. I didn't even know that until one of the last times I rode over here. That this ridge is at the bottom of where I started from. 
right, here we go again. I think this is getting tacky too. Oh, never mind. Trust me. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you just never know when you're going to find people up here. Oh, wow, look at this. Ruts. Tree ruts. Ruts. Tree roots, not ruts. Watch this feature. Rocks again. A beautiful tree there. Okay, again, we up and down, up and down. Roll it. Pedal it. Nope. Super techie, I told you. So good. Still south to Nick and Nick. A drop and a roll. Oh, okay. So that part over there takes you down to the council garden grounds picnic area. I'm gonna be doing something challenging by trying to go up there. We'll see. This it's gonna be hard. Especially because it's a sharp turn there with a little rock lip. Oh, I got this. Yep. Look at that. Oh man, that was cool. Had to find the right gear. Sometime we're gonna go down, I think, and stay going down. Well, for sure I know we are, because where we're going is at the very bottom. Beautiful rocks, boulders. I think they're going down now, boys and girls. So let's see. And this is not down fast. This is, well, it's not down at all. Go off. Wrong angle. All learning. Here's some cool down. Wait that. I love that I'm getting so much better at staying back. Getting that front tire lift. That was uh, a little close to the tree. That's a perfect gear. What do you think you're not? Holy shit. I didn't know all this was like this. It's crazy. The lowest gear. Nope. 
I am tired. I thought there was a bigger one there. My bad. Okay. This is tacky. Jump in the rock. I have a choice on that one. Really is a drop, but I have the front and top. That's a great part of the Connecticut Trail right there. Alright, so I know, pretty sure this takes me over to the one jump, which I love hitting. So we're gonna go over there and we'll climb our way home. This is cool. There's some definitely harder rock features in here coming up. If I can remember. I've only taking this once. This is one. Little front wheel lift. Take the transition lift smoother. That's a roll, but this is hard. Not the way I like to do it, but no way I can drop that. And here we are. First time I rode ro Knick Knick that way. Pretty cool, very challenging. Uh, in the future, I'll ride the down portions only. But you can get to it different parts. You don't have to ride what I rode. So, there you have it. As always, thanks for tagging along, and we'll see you on the trail.